Hi guys, Apostle Karen Proctor here from Powerhouse Leadership Institute with another segment of Ask the Apostle. And our question for today is, Apostle Proctor, why did the people in the book of Genesis try to build a tower? Thank you for sending in your question. As usual, I like to say that uh, just like you, there is somebody else out there that wish to know the answer to the very same question that you sent in. So you will find your answer in the book of Genesis chapter 1 through verse 11. These were Babylonian people and they did not want to uh, not have a place to call their own. They wanted to make a name for themselves, so they attempted to build a tower to go up to the heavens as part of their city. And so I want to read verse 4 of Genesis chapter 11. And they said, Go to, let us build a city and a tower whose top may reach unto the heaven, and let us make a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. So they were concerned about not having a name. They were concerned about being scattered over the earth. They wanted something that they could have called their own, something that they could have been proud of, something that would have gotten the attention of other people. And verse 5 says, And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. So the Bible says, God said that they had one language, and nothing was impossible for them because they work together. They put their mind to it and they say, we can do this. And so God says, uh, nothing that they imagine that they could have done would not have been done. But God put a halt to what they were doing. Verse 7 says, when go to, let us go down and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another. So God began to, just like the word, say very plain, very clear. He scattered their language. Uh, I'm sorry, he confound their language so that they would not be able to understand each other anymore. Before that, the language was one. They didn't have all these various languages like English, Spanish, uh, Mandarin, French, none of those languages. It was one language. But because God saw their determination uh, of what they could do, uh, he, what would they do next? In other words, let me just put it like that. If they had the determination that they can build a tower to go so high as to in their thinking to reach the heaven God say no let me put a halt to this and so the very thing that they did not want to happen was to be scattered they wanted to be in one place and have a city to call their own the very thing they did not want to happen God made that happen he scattered them abroad verse 8 says so the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth and they left off to build a city. So the very city that they was attempting to build, they never got a chance to even build that city, finish building that city and building that tower. So verse 9 say, therefore is the name of the Lord. I'm sorry. Therefore is the name of it called Babel. And Babel actually mean confusion. So that was the tower of confusion because the Lord did there confine the language of all the earth. And from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of the earth. So they were scattered abroad. 
their language changed. And so that's where language came in. Various languages, shall I say. So the very thing that they wanted never really happened. So thank you for sending in your question. Uh, and if anybody else have a question for Ask the Apostle, you can send it in via my website. It's www.karenproctor.com. There's a tab there that says Connect with the Apostle. You can put your question there or you can leave it in the comments on this very uh, video. And I'll try to answer your question as soon as possible. And if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe. Don't come on just to view the video. Come on, let's get uh, subscribed. And also, I'm going to ask you to uh, turn on the notification button. Uh, turn on the bell. That way, when new content is uploaded, you will get the new content. So, God bless you. Like, oh, shall I say, like, comment, and share. Share the video out. Sharing is caring. God bless you. Until the next video. Bye for now.